problem, my peeps? How's it going? Today on the Monday Challenge, we're going to try and get some crane-style shots going. Maybe even something that looks like a drone, but we're only going to use a gimbal. Let's get it going. The plan here is to put the gimbal on this monopod, and I'm actually able to do that if I take the fluid head off this Manfrotto monopod, which I did, as you can see. And then you take this little converter out of the bottom of your gimbal. You can actually put this on here. So I'm actually going to be able to get some height and pop that on there. This should give me the ability, since I can extend this, to get some height and get up in the air. So this should be very interesting. I should be able to get some jib-like movements, maybe even something like a drone. So I'm going to put this on here and then this will go in here. Camera will go up here. Bing, bang, boom. We'll be good to go. I'm on my business, stack chicken like what it's gon' be Crew in the cut, hey, you want us for run when I tell a peace Love is love, love is love, I need Bendo, bendo with the switch again Boy deliver like he heffinin' Core with digits, give him estimates Summer sauce for my Benjamins I got, I got what you need, baby Skirt the Chevy, make a scene, baby L.A.B.B. been the team, baby Bim Bim Papa word the G, baby Look, labs till I'm finished Had a handful of limits Through the hand, got a bag Now the hands in the business For my hand, it's a team I definitely could see this hack, this trick Being used on a client shoot but there are some things that I learned as I was going through the motions and some things that I kind of wish that I did differently while I was shooting. First thing being is when I first started out trying to do this, um, I didn't set the gimbal in lock mode. I did, did follow for whatever reason. I thought that would be best. That was a dumb decision. And another thing that I realized that I was having a difficult time with was I was trying to walk and do these crane-like movements at the same time. That just made it super complicated and I would honestly recommend just kind of standing in one spot and doing the, you know, the crane movements. By the time I was standing more stationary and doing these crane leg movements, I already switched to 60 frames per second. I wish that I spent a little more time with this. The sun was going down, so I was kind of fighting with daylight. So it, it would have been nicer just to mess around with some more 24 uh, frames per second stuff. So I shot in 4K 23.976, downscaled that to 1080. And then I also shot in 1080 at 60 frames a second. My aperture was around f8 for, for all the footage. I had an ND filter on the 24 frame stuff and I didn't have an ND filter on the 60 frame stuff. I kind of wish that I shot at f4 instead of f8. I, I, I wish that there was just a little bit more of a shallow depth of field. I think this technique would be better also if I had used, uh, hold on if I use this wireless follow focus that came with my gimbal. However, in order to actually have done that, I would have needed another person and a wireless monitor so that we could pull focus. And also the transmitter for this, because the gimbal has a transmitter on the side, but they actually sell a separate transmitter, so if we had the gimbal up in the air, we would need the transmitter. So there's just a few extra tools that I would have liked to have. I could see myself using this for, for client work, for music videos and stuff. I would need to get the extra pieces to the puzzle. I I. I also need to spend a little bit more time practicing the motions because it it is a awkward thing it's something that would need a lot more practice but it is kind of cool knowing that i do have the ability to get those types of shots if i wanted to i think the gimbal intensity was set to medium i probably would set it to high just because you want the motors to be working as as best as possible i i think there's a lot of times when i wasn't stationary and i was trying to walk around that i i was putting a lot of strain on the motors now the raw footage it wasn't exactly super smooth so i did have to apply some warp stabilizer i think i put five percent on every single clip and that just kind of smoothed everything out this was a cool challenge i would definitely like to try and do more of these I don't know, kind of like weird rig setup type of things. Weekly creative challenges, that's that's what the jam is here. So if you guys are new here and you stuck it out this far, thank you so much for watching. My name is Burke Cullinane. Uh, this, this whole channel is about my journey through life as a creator where I do these weekly creative challenges in order to challenge myself to continue to grow and learn and uh, yeah, just all that jazz. If you guys enjoyed this video, would appreciate a like, comment, all that jazz. If you aren't subscribed, maybe consider it. I'm doing stuff on this channel every single week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay hungry. Peace.
could fill this uh, this shelf, standing shelf, bookcase, whatever you want to call it. I need to fill this guy up. This is a uh, this is funny. You guys, I don't know. Some of you guys might not not have been here back then, but I went up to Toronto. Ah, uh, I don't know, four or five months ago ish at this point. Hung out with my buddies in APX90. We filmed this crazy video where I chugged half of this bottle of maple syrup. And, uh, yeah, it's just been sitting here ever since. This looks really kind of gross and weird at this point, but it's, uh, you know, gonna hang on to this. Memories. Great memories. Momento, right? Momento, momento, whatever the word is. Momento, momento, do ba ba da di da. I don't know what I'm saying, so. See you guys in like a couple days. All right, peace.